Okay, so we're looking at the expected value of a linear transformation of a random variable. So what are the, what's the theoretical expected value and variance of that? And can we see that in action in R? So I've chosen a very simple random variable so that we have something to think about, just a coin toss. Um, and we know that the expected value is 0.5, the variance is 0.25, and the standard deviation is the square root of that, which is 0.5. Nothing controversial here. Um, okay, uh, we can go into R and confirm that that much is true. So we'll take, how many is this? A million of these random variables and go get after the mean standard deviation. Okay, and we get something that's close enough to what we wanted that we're not concerned that our math was wrong. Um, okay, next. Okay, so for expected value, it's a pretty, it's a pretty simple thing to do because we know some rules for expected value. Um, we know that it, we can distribute expected value and we can take out a constant. So we get the result that... Um, whatever our a term was times the expected value of x plus b will give us our new mean for this uh, transformed random variable. Okay, likewise for the variance, we need to appeal to intuition here a bit because I know pe like, people don't like variances just distributing. Um, so we can see though that like adding a constant to everything doesn't affect the variability at all because when you calculate the variance, you subtract the mean from each point. So you're getting its distance relative to zero. So if you add 10 to everything, you're just going to end up adding 10 to the mean. That's going to be subtracted away and you're, you're right back where you started. So we get rid of that B and then we've got something like this and you can just go through with the definition of variance and expected value in the same little rules we used over here to compute that the a squared will pop out of both terms and you'll get a squared times the variance of x. And we want to hop into R and confirm this. Okay, so I'm going to do 3x plus 5. Um, the same random variable. Uh, our mean should be 3 times 0.5 plus 5, 1.5 plus 5, 6.5, and the variance should be 9 times 0.25 or 2.25, and we go into R, and we get something very close to that. Okay, so I hope that you've been convinced of these truths. In the next video, um, I'll look at uh, combining multiple random variables um, and then we have to look at the case where they're either independent or dependent um, and things will get a, a, quite a bit trickier from there so hopefully you enjoyed everyone enjoyed this nice sort of easy introduction